Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer. And today I'm going to show you how to take your business card to the next level, making a digital business card in command. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, let's just jump in and get started. I want you to go to agent.kw.com because we're going to be in command today. That's where we're going to work. So agent.kw.com. Sign in with your command sign in. Yeah. Once you get in there, I want you to click on the left hand side on the third applet from the bottom or the third icon from the bottom, which is your design icon. And then I want you to click on create design. We are going to click on print and click continue. Now, once you get in here, we're going to click on my designs. So now I am going to click on my designs up here at the top. And I'm going to click on this red start button that says start from blank. I'm going to click on custom size. And I'm going to do 1080 by 1920 and make sure this PX is highlighted in red and then click create. So now I have the size I need for a digital business card and I know the things that I want to uh, put on there. So I'm going to close in there. I'm actually going to add an element here. Let's do icons. Ah, I'm going to, I know I'm going to do LinkedIn. Ah, there it is. Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and then I also need YouTube, which I don't see here in these icons. So I'm just going to click again. Maybe I'll get some more. Here we go. YouTube. So I've got all three of my icons in here now. I'm going to link to those. Now I want to put a little bit of text. I'm going to do a title. Move it. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to click up here on the typewriter. Backspace that out and type my name and click. I'm going to move my face over here. I'm going to click Save Changes. So now I have Bryn Brewer in there. I'm going to drag the box over where it all fits on one line. And then I'm going to get a diagonal arrow over one of the corners. Click and resize to where that's a, a good size that I want. I like that. And I'm going to click out of the thing. I'm going to add a frame for my picture. I'm going to come in here and find a frame that I like. I like this round one. It's the same size as those. I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to go to images and I'm going to move that into the frame there. I am going to also resize these circles to be a little bit smaller because they don't need to be so big. All right, so now I got them all the same size. Oop, I think they need to be a little bit smaller yet. Okay, so now I have YouTube. I have my Facebook. I have my YouTube. And I have my LinkedIn. Those are all my social things that I want to put on, on my business card click out. I'm going to add a shape and I'm going to do a square and I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to drag it all the way over. I'm going to make it just a tiny bit smaller and now I'm going to change the color by clicking in these dots up here. Red and then I'm also going to change this uh, to red and the opacity is fine. I like that just like that. I'm going to move these up just a smidge. I like that. Then I'm going to put my picture. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to say send to the bottom. So my name is over just a little bit. Now I'm going to come over and click on logos. And I like the red with black. 
So I'm going to click on it, put it in here, and bring it to the top. I want it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do that, pull it up in here. I'm going to move my name over just a little bit. I like the way this is looking. It's looking pretty good. Maybe move my name over just another smidge. Now I'm going to add another text box. And I'm going to do subtitle size this time. Put it where I want it. Click on the typewriter. And then I'm going to type in my title. Put MCTT. Click Save Changes. I'm going to move that over. I'll make this box just a little smaller to fit the MCTT title. And I like the way that looks. And now let's add another subtitle. And with this one, I'm going to put my phone number. I'm going to drag with the bar on the right hand side to make it all in one line. And then I'm going to do another subtitle and put my email in there. Click outside of the box, drag with the horizontal line on the side to make it all on one line, and then put this where I want it. I think that looks good. And then I think I'll just do one more with my website. Oops, I don't want title. I want subtitle. Move it down. And now I'm going to do Bren. This is my website. Click outside of the box, drag it all the way over where it's on one line, and then move the box where you want. I'm actually going to click up here under alignment and center this. And I think I may do that with all of these as well. Okay, once you're happy with that placement, we've got one more, th Ooh, don't like that, uh, body text. And I'm going to put this way down here. I'm going to resize it because I've got one long thing. And I have to put each office is independently, independently owned and operated. Click outside the box, make it longer. Ooh, I don't want to move the red. I want to move the white. So let's move this over. There we go. Okay, I'm also going to click up here. On, on the fill color, the text, the stroke. So let's change that to white. I like that. Looks good. And I've got my name, I have my title, I have my logo, which is required for our office, phone number, email, and website. So I have all the elements I need on my digital business card. Now I just want to go and link my links. So I make sure I highlight this. And then I'm going to go over to my Facebook page and get the link from my browser. Just copy that link. And then I'm going to make sure this is highlighted, the, uh, the button I want to make. I'm going to come up here and click on the right-hand side where all these icons are. I'm going to click on the little chain one that looks like a link, and I'm going to click Add Link. And then I'm just going to paste that link in there from my Facebook page and click Apply. I'm going to do the same thing for my YouTube channel. I'm just going to copy, click the link, paste it in there, and then I'm also going to go to LinkedIn, copy the link, and click this little link button, and click and paste it in there. And now I have linked these things. Now my website, let me go to my website. Let's 
I'm going to click on my website there. You can make the box the whole size across, and then when you center, these will be centered, which is exactly what I'm going to do here real quick. Just to make it look a little better. There, now everything should be centered. I'm going to click this back on my website, click the link button at the top right, and paste that into the box, click apply. And then I'm also going to go to my website and I'm going to click on the contact us page. And this is what I'm going to link to the phone number and the email address because I don't necessarily want them calling me from this. I'm, if I'm texting this out, they probably already have my uh, phone number anyway. So that's what I'm just going to link those to as well. All right click apply. I think I'm done. I like it. Uh, it's got all the elements I need. I've linked everything. Oh, you could also do your app. So I might do that. Um, I don't know what my app link is, so I'm not going to add that right now, but um, I have to go look for it. But it, you could type download my app right here and link that as well. So now I'm done. I'm just going to click on share and then not the design, I want to share the project. And that gives you a personalized link for your project. I'm going to copy that link, put it into my browser. Okay, so now you can see that um, after a minute here, this actually has, you know, populated here and you can see my card, the Facebook links to my Facebook, the YouTube links to my YouTube, LinkedIn links to my LinkedIn. So there you have it. And then these will link to the contact page on my website because that's where I wanted them to go. And this actually goes to my website. So um, this is one of my favorite features about the design editor and something that a lot of people don't know they can even do. So I hope this helps. Happy sending your, um, car uh your your business card and I can email it to myself i can text it and then a business card will show up so hope this helps get to creating your digital business cards i love for you to send them to me so i can see what you've done and how your designs look have a great day